Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different inequalities, and we need to see which one works when we make p equal to 3.4. So there's two different methods that we could use to solve this. First, we're going to use substitution. After that, we will try isolating the variable. But many of us like substitution. Another way to call it is guess and check. We're just going to take each of these. We're going to start with f, and we're just going to substitute 3.4 wherever we see the variable p. So is 3 times 3.4 less than 10.2? That's our question. So let's just multiply that right quick. 3.4 times 3, so that's 12. And that's, let's see, 10, 9, 10, so it's 102. Bring that decimal back in. We have one digit behind the decimal in the factor, one digit behind the decimal in the product. So it's 10.2 is less than 10.2. Oh, you see it's equal, not less than. So that is going to be a no, simply because the numbers work. The sign does not. Let's look at this next one. 13.6 is less than or equal. See, if we had less than or equal, that would have worked. 3.9 times 3.4. So once again, let's do 39 and 34. So that's going to be 36. That's 12. That's 15. Let's see. That is going to be 27. That's 9, 11. So let's see what we have here. We got 12. We've got 13. So two digits behind the decimal in the factor, so two digits behind the decimal in the product, 13.26. Let me rewrite this here. 13.6 is less than or equal to 13.26. No. It is greater than or equal to, but not less than or equal to. Let's hope it's H or J. Let's try 5 times 3.4 is greater than, so it can't be equal, it just has to be greater than, 17.1. So let's see what that looks like. 3.4 times 5, that's 20. 15, that's 17. Bring that decimal back in. Oh, look at that. 17.0 is greater than 17.1. No, it is not. So let us hope. It is going to be J. We've got 8.5 greater than or equal to 2.5 times this 3.4 we've been using again and again. So let's do a little multiplication here. We've got 2.5, 3.4, so that's 20, that's 10. So we've got 15, that's going to be 6, that's 7. So we've got 8.50, we need to bring two decimals back in. Ah, look at that, 8.5 is greater than or equal to, and that was 8.50. Look at that, it's not greater than, but that works. So this is going to be our answer, J. And let's look at the other way we can do it, and that would be isolating the variable. So isolating the variable looks like this. You take your equation here, or your inequality, whatever it happens to be, 2.5p, and you think, what do you have to do to get rid of this 2.5 next to the p? Well, it's held on by multiplication, so the inverse operation is divide. So you divide both sides by 2.5, and you would get... 3.4 exactly, and that would get you your answer P. So our answer is J.